Hello everyone. One of the worst performing currencies this week has been the Australian dollar. It fell to four month lows on Thursday and is basically on track for further losses in the weeks ahead. The primary reason why we've been seeing such extensive Australian dollar weakness is because the market is starting to consider the possibility of an interest rate cut from the Reserve Bank. We had labor market numbers from Australia released overnight. Those numbers weren't great. We basically had um, an uptick in the unemployment rate along with full-time job losses. The Reserve Bank, who met last, uh, last month, was not um, optimistic about the economy at all. They passed on cutting interest rates because we wanted to see how trade uh, negotiations between the U.S. and China transpired. And now that we know that the U.S. has decided to slap China with the additional tariffs and China has responded in kind, that you know, trade tensions have basically worsened and the pressure is going to be um, intensified on the Chinese economy and in turn the Australian economy. So considering that they had nothing good to say about the Australian economy when they last met, when they meet in June, they're going to be even more worried. So there's a very good chance that we could see a um, interest rate cut. It's almost assured by the Reserve Bank in June or in July, and probably in June, given you know how how, um, how much deterioration we've seen in market sentiment. So the fact that you know the market is looking forward to a uh, rate cut by the RBA um, will basically mean that the Australian dollar um, could be subjected to further weakness. It's dropped below 69 cents. There's a good chance it could drop to the flash crash lows that we had um, pretty much at the end of 2018, early 2019, and that's pretty much around 67.50. So there's um, room to fall and the Australian dollar is um, is probably going to remain one of the weakest currencies because Australia um, basically supplies China with um, metals and you know iron ore and things like that that um, are only really needed when the economy um, is doing well and performing and outperforming when we have a phase of slower growth Australia really suffers so I think that you know this underperformance that we're not only seeing against the US dollar but also against other um, currencies like the New Zealand dollar, the Canadian dollar, the Japanese yen will probably persist. Um, Aussie is also what we call a risk currency, which means that when stocks do well, the Australian dollar tends to have more of an upward bias. When stocks perform poorly, the Australian dollar tends to have a negative bias. So if the trade tensions really um, put pressure on the global markets and the U.S. economy, as well as stocks in general, that could also um, put additional, be d additional blow to the Australian dollar. So keep an eye on that currency because it'll definitely be a focus for the next few weeks.